they make you give in. Eat their poison, bit by bit. Years pass, the shame changes nothing but its clothes. He hath disgraced me and hindered me half a million. Laughed. It's um, laughed, Phil. Punctuation's different. It's just pronounced the same. Oh, OK. That was good. OK, who's next? Mocked at my gains, scorned my nation, thwarted my bargains, Somebody fooled my friends, mouth for teacher. hated <sighs> my enemies. What was that, Tim? Oh, nothing, Mr. Lewis. We were just talking about the play. Mm-hmm. Okay, what's the title of the play that we're reading? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, who's next? Daniela? You can do it. Is it okay if I don't, Mr. Lewis? Just read a little bit. Everybody reads. And what's his reason? B -b brain damage. <laughs> Excuse me? The next person who disrupts another student reading can huck and yuck their way all the way down to Vice Principal Olson's office. Got it? I forgot, short period. Okay, act three next time, folks. Chica needs to learn her glossy office. Hey, Mr. Lewis, um, is it still okay if I, I take pictures later for the paper? Of course. I'll be there, okay? Thanks, Mr. Lewis. What can I do for you, Daniela? I was wondering if, if there was any extra bullet. Hey, 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 stop right now, come on, stop. What happened? What happened? Preston? I, I, I didn't see anything. I, I... You don't, don't worry about him. What happened? Tim started it. Fuck you! That is enough! Against that wall. Come on, against the wall. One over there. Wait. Back to class. I'm sorry, Danielle. Um, I'm gonna write you a pass, okay? We'll talk later. Let's go. Now, get your stuff. What's it to be, gentlemen? You think my hallways are the place for UFC auditions? I guess you want a six-month summer vacation. Get suspended? No, sir. I could expel you for this young man. But if you can grow up for five seconds, apologize and shake hands, I'll talk it over with your parents. It's your decision. Sorry. It's cool. All right. Get a pass from the desk. Don't quote me, but paddles were invented for kids like that. <laughs> I think you shut them up for a while. Harold, uh, can I ask how things are looking for me? Enjoy the uncertainty. 
After tenure, you'll be stuck here forever. <laughs> Are you sure Tim threw the first punch? Yeah. One of my students witnessed it. He's honest. Tim actually picks on him a little bit. Well, that's great, because it's during scouting season two. Idiot. Straight at him, Tim! Come inside, you know. I didn't want to bother anyone. We're not wildlife. Well, except for Tim Cooper. <laughs> Go sit next to Daniela. Come on. Give her some pointers on her homework. Uh... Hey, um... Mr. Lewis said it'd be okay if I came up here to take some pictures. Yeah, that's fine. Are you here for Mr. Lewis? My brother drives me. Whoa, amigo. <laughs> that's a really cool camera. Thanks, it, it's my dad's, but I'm the only one who knows how to use it. Because you're like a genius, right? You're probably smarter than me. That's so stupid. No, it's not. What part are you on? The major point of friction at our last session was the house. We've agreed to equal distributions. We asked for a full vacancy by May. School's still in session. Look, I'm working and I'll be moved out within a few days. Second semester. I'm in ACT prep finals. I've got my tenure. I'm being really nice about this, James, considering the way you've been. Look, Sarah, I'm not saying that we were Ozzy and Harriet, okay? But it's not like I ever touched you. <laughs> no, you just punched holes in walls. That happened one time. I was terrified and you... I am... I'm done. I'm done with your mood swings and the drinking, and I need this to be over with, and I need you to be out of that house. Please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that divorce isn't convenient for you, but I am sure, Phoenix, that you are. You will rise from the ashes and be just fine. There'll be enough of that, Mr. Lewis. This isn't the life we promised each other. Ourselves. The past is too present. They say that we can never go home again. In truth, we never leave. What else is new? God damn it, James! 
your father saw you look like this, God only knows what the hell he would do. This is a brand new sweater. I'm gonna put this on the fridge, okay? You don't want it to get muddy, right? Well, contribute and make it all. Make it all fucking family. are oppressive racists, but to the Venetians, Shylock is a vindictive murderer. Who's right? There's two very different moral centers there. Which one do you believe has the moral high ground? Mm-hmm. Well, uh, if Shylock's planning on cutting out Antonio's stomach, then he is a murderer, right? Absolutely. A murderer. But, isn't Shylock also a victim? I think he has to be both. That's, that's the paradox of it. Continue, Preston. I mean, does being a victim make a person good? I mean, that's something that happens to you. It's not something that you do. You guys think? Anyone? Claims of obsolescence have been levied against English teachers for years. We need to prove that we have practical utility. We've had many discussions in the department about that, as you know. Many discussions. <laughs> <laughs> James is also working on a novel. Really? Yeah, it's about a man who kind of loses tether on reality after his wife passes away. Not autobiographical, I hope. No, not at all. <laughs> I understand you witnessed an altercation between Tim Cooper and another boy earlier this week. Just outside of my classroom. You reported that Tim instigated. Another student witnessed the start of it. You didn't witness it yourself? No, but I assure you the student's trustworthy. It's uh, Preston Walsh. I'm sure he is. Thank you, James. I think that about does it for this round. OK. Thank you. Oh, no. It's OK. What was that? Juan's parents called Warren out of the blue and asked him to show mercy on Tim. Hard time picturing that. No suspension, no detention. Warren's call. So now I'm in Warren's crosshairs. Everything's fine. This isn't Kafka. Uh, <clears throat> no 
You should probably grab seats. Mm -hmm. There's my friend. I, I, I should say hi. Do you have a lot of students? Hi. Hey. How are you? <laughs> Good. <clears throat> oh, uh, th these are these are my parents. <laughs> Hi, Eugene. Rosa. Lisa. Oh, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. <laughs> so Tim Cooper punches a kid in the nose, gets the boys will be boys treatment. Oh, you've met his dad. Clouds need permission to rain on his lawn. <sighs> he probably paid that family off. I want to think about that. Well, you know how it is. If you're born poor, you wish upon a star, and if you're born here, you just write a check. Yeah. So how's it going with you and Sarah? A couple more boxes, that's it. Bachelor Pad USA! Freedom! No. <laughs> Go get him! No. I don't know. Maybe I'll uh, open a wine bar. Call it middle-aged. I don't get it. Oh, because you aged the wine. That's very funny. You know her? Her? No. No matter. Go talk to her. Nope. Oh, well, just go talk Did... to her. Todd, my marriage is fresh. Arabella! Get over here, girlfriend. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, how are you? Good, good, good. Oh, good. Oh, you're like an Olympic hugger. Well, someone has to make you feel loved, you sad, sad man. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, you know James Lewis from the English department? Oh, no. Hi. Hi. It's so good to meet you. Oh, what happened to your hand? Oh. Just bumped it moving furniture. It's stupid. <laughs> got weak bones. We've known each other since college, actually. I, I actually brought James here from the city. Got him a job. Yep. And now he's uh, facing judgment soon. Tenure. Oh, wow. Congratulations. That's great. Yeah, we'll see. I feel like Warren's got it out for me. Well, he wouldn't have kept you around this long if he didn't want you here, right? That's what people said about my ex-wife, and... Ah, <laughs> I would not have said that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I get, um, there's a... I gotta get back to work. Oh. It's great to meet you. Yeah, Thanks. No. Yeah, that was a conversation. Yeah. Go uh, get him. Nice meeting you. Yeah, you too. Charmer. He's, he's sweet. I mean, he mentioned his ex-wife within 10 seconds of this meeting. I think that's an Olympic record. He's bitter sweet. Hey, Mr. Lewis. Hi, Tim. Good to see you again, James. Mr. Cooper? Bernie, please. We don't want to take much of your time, but Tim would like to apologize to you for his behavior. Yeah, I'm uh, really sorry about that. It uh, won't happen again. Appreciate that, Tim. I feel like you still owe an apology to Juan. Definitely pressed him for what you said to him. Yeah, I'll talk to them. That's great. All right, Tim, thanks. Give us a minute, will you? Ah, uh, so, about uh, our pain-in-the-ass kid, <laughs> Julie and I are deeply concerned about his grades, especially in your class. Just stay on him, and then call me anytime. Well, we certainly appreciate that. Yes. Oh, and congratulations on your tenure. I hear it's almost complete. You certainly do your homework. <laughs> no, it's nothing. Warren and I golf, my kid's in your class, you know. Well, we'd love to put in a good word for you. And, you know, if there's any attention that you could pay to Tim, to help him keep his grade up. It would mean the world to us. Yeah, I'll, I'll do my best. Home number's on the back there. Great, thanks. Good luck tonight. Yeah, well, good evening. You too. How's it going? Hey, I I'm good. I didn't know you had this lunch hour. Yeah, I, I saw you here the other day, and I thought it. Just saying hello. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you sit? Over there, normally. Anyway, th there's this um, project 
that I'm, I'm, I'm working on, and, and um, I, I, I don't know. I just, ah! Watch your ass. Right, I got it. Maybe you should leave him alone. Maybe you should tell me what his cum tastes like. <laughs> I'm so sorry, he's, he's a jerk. It's not your fault. No, for, for what he said. You didn't say it. Well, no, but I, I just, I'm sorry. What were you going to ask me? What is this for? It's for a photo project I'm doing. Uh, what do you want me to do? I need a human subject. I, I, I think the camera's gonna like you. <laughs> okay, cameras hate me. They like send out newsletters about it. I, I, I'm camera cursed. Come on, trust me. Open your eyes. Preston. Look. Let me see the camera. Uh, hey, <laughs> no. Um. <laughs> All right. All right. So you have till July to sign these. I appreciate that. Give me a couple days to look it over. For what? Just sign them. All right, do what you want. Sir, I never meant to scare you, okay? You know that I'd never hurt you? Yeah, all right. God, same words, different day, James. Pages of a calendar thrown away. Days, months, years. All the memories and colors run together. Smear of brown. Maybe that's all we are.
I come from a sports family and I love track, but um, I wasn't tall enough and I got left behind. Literally. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Are professional complainers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Very, very good at it. Any chance you want to grab a beer after this? Yeah. Every home was slaughtering a goat for the end of Ramadan, and the streets were literally flowing with blood. Yeah, it is horrifying. <laughs> yeah. Especially when you're trying to be a vegetarian. <laughs> What's in your mind? Uh, it's not date worthy. Oh, come on. I mean, you don't have to talk about it, but. But you do have to talk about it. You, do, it. you don't yeah. have to, but you kind of do. I can tell it's super juicy. Do you, uh, play the tiny violin. I play the trombone. Oh, that would Actually. even be, that would be funny. Wow. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, just, it's, it's ugh, dumb. My divorce, I've got a stack of papers and yeah. just need one last squiggle and then it's off to eternity, you know? It's it. Mm, I know how that goes. I actually got a divorce too. One year before I came to Prairie Trail. He accepted a promotion that sent him overseas. He told me he didn't want any kids, and that was that. Doofus. Idiot. Idiot. Dumb dog. Dork. I'm sorry. No, no, don't be. But you need to perk up. <laughs> Come on, you got the pretty science nerd to buy with you on a school night. No, I'm an English teacher. <laughs> OK. That was a, I got one good joke in tonight. You got one. It's pretty good. Call me. Absolutely. I'll see you. OK. OK.
you're scared of me, right? If you say you're afraid of me, then you're a worthless fag, and I'll stop. I'm scared of you. I'm a worthless fag. That's right. That's what you are. And if you talk to anyone about me again, or you take my picture, I'll kill you. And your spit girlfriend. Thou callest me a dog before thou hadst a cause. Since I am a dog, beware my fangs. Doing great. Keep going. Why doesn't he just take the money? Why do you think? Maybe because it won't stop anything. Like Antonio might be nice to him for like a week or something, but he'll do it again. And I think Shylock just wants it to stop. Does Shylock believe it will stop if he takes Antonio's flesh? No, but, but people would take him more seriously. And maybe they'd be afraid. They're only begging him for mercy because they're scared, and, and I can understand why he's saying no. Why? Because he knows they hate him. Danielle, did Hey, 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 what's wrong? What happened to your back? Uh, it's, uh, it's nothing, Mr. Willis. It's, it's not nothing. How long has this been happening? Search my computer. Check my handwriting. I didn't do any of it. Why would they lie to him? I don't know, Mr. Olson. What about this assault on the bus? He can't just say something and get me in trouble. No one saw it because it didn't happen. I promise this isn't going to happen again to either of you. Is he gonna get in trouble? We're looking into it. Either myself or Mr. Lewis will let you know. This was by the book assault. The only way to prove anything is to send this to the police. The school doesn't want that and Daniela's family doesn't want that, trust me. It's going to stop. We need to hang on until summer. Please work with me. Hello? Hi, Mrs. Cooper. This is James Lewis. I'm Tim's teacher. Yes, I remember, of course. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm, I'm sorry to bother you, Bernie, but, um, well, I've had a close call with Tim's behavior. What happened? I'm actually in the neighborhood, and I was wondering if maybe I could swing by. We could talk in person. Is it serious? It's moderately serious. It's something that I'm hoping we can work together on and prevent from escalating. I don't want this to get any worse. Great. I'll see you soon. Hi, Bernie. Thanks for letting me stop by. Sure, no problem. Come on in. Here you are. 
encouraging. Thank you. Our house is... Thank you, darling. This, this is lovely. It's amazing. <sighs> oh, it's all jewelry, I assure you. Maybe a couple of family photos for me. And of course, the big boy's on the mantle, but otherwise, it's all her. You were in the service? No, just an enthusiast. In any case, James, what is going on with Timothy? Okay. This isn't easy, but um, it's going to be fine. Today, Tim was implicated in the assault of another student and in the creation of a, a pornographic website targeted at this student and his girlfriend. Well, you say implicated. Yes, there's... Um, Allegations that Tim pushed a needle through a bus seat into the student's back. Now, the injuries aren't terrible, but this has got to stop now. And that's why I wanted to come here, so that we could come together on this and unify so we can help Tim. I mean, I want Tim in my class. The team needs Tim. No, yes, of course, and we're certainly grateful for you coming to us with this. Did you say a needle? Yes, sir. Well, that just sounds insane. Well, we don't even know if he did it yet. Of course, he did it. James wouldn't be here unless there were witnesses. That's gotta be him. Tim! Tim! Come in here, please. Yeah, give me a sec. Hey, Tim. You wanna tell us just what the hell's going on here? I don't know. What is going on here? Mr. Lewis was just telling us about some stunt on the internet. I didn't do that. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Bernie. And you assaulted a student on the bus? I didn't do that. Be truthful, Timothy. I didn't. Maybe I push him around a little bit, but I didn't assault him. And what about this website? That was Scott's. He made it as a joke to show us and I guess someone shared it. He took it down. Well, there's nothing funny about it now, is there? I didn't tell him to make it. All right, well, you need to promise both of us right now that you're done with these guys. School and sports, that's all you have time for. Promise us. I swear. I'm so sorry you had to see this. Of course, not at all. Thank you for coming. Of course. I'll show you out. I gotta say, uh, you had really had me and my wife thinking that our son was about to be arrested. I mean, she's in there crying. Bernie, I just wanted to get this. Did thing. you talk to Warren or the other one, Harold, before coming here? No. Th this is a conversation, you know, just between you and I. Right. Right. And, and you, you arrived here, what, two minutes after calling? Yeah, because I was... Because I was in the neighborhood, I thought this is a conversation best had face-to-face. -face. Right. Okay. Uh, thank you. Of course. Remind me to buy milk in the morning. That. Hey, that was a game. We won. It was all right. He had a home run and a double. You always do better when I'm working. You should stop working so much you won't miss out. Hey, how about you stop costing so much, tough guy? <laughs> you have homework? A little bit. Well, you better get to it. It's getting late. Hey, sorry, are you busy? It's fine, I'm done. How is it? Hard. It's not hard, you're not really learning, right? I guess. 
What's going on? You, you know my friend Carlos? Yeah. He, uh... He sent me this drawing. It's a, it's a view. I guess kids at school are texting it around. Show me. It's really dumb. You know, it has nothing to do with how you are in reality, right? They said they delete it. But, but it's on the internet. It, it's gonna be here forever. Who drew this? There's only a few short answer questions, so you should use your time focused on your essays. These aren't text messages. <laughs> Whole words, please. Get started. I'll be right back. <laughs> What's going on? What happened? He's in St. Augustine. Somebody robbed him. Who was it? I don't know what you're talking about. You think this is a game? Mr. Lewis. Oh, privilege so sealed there. Yeah! Or what? Excuse me? Or what, Mr. Lewis? Mr. Mr. Lewis! Principal May? I have to go. I actually studied really hard for this. If you give a shit. I've just heard. I think there's somewhere else you need to be. It's all right. I'll tend to your class. Uh, sorry, everyone.
sorry. They, uh, they haven't medicated, so he should be okay. Lisa, please sit down. No. I want to stand. They can see me better if you wake. When he wakes, I can be standing here. He said he was attacked by two men. That's what the police said. And he said. Okay. I'm sorry. You know who did this. I don't, Eugene. It's those boys from the team. The police are saying that the parents are providing alibis. They say that there are no witnesses. You must have seen. I haven't you seen. You have to do something. They broke his glasses into his eye. He can't see. I'm sorry. I'll do everything that I can, I promise. Daniela, eat. I'm not hungry. Eat anyways. Going to bed. <clears throat> Good night. Good night. Can I pop up? Yeah, no, it's okay, I got her.
Natalie, why do you have shit in the daytime? Vanilla. Hector. I need a diaper for Natalie. Sister's in there. She's not answering the door. D. Daniela, open the door. Mom. Mom. What are you? Why is the door locked? Daniela, open the open door. Open the door. She's locked in there. Let me see. Mija, open the door. Open the door right now. Hey, get over. I'm sorry, guys. Call emergency! Call emergency! Oh my god! There's a more towel! There's a towel! Oh my god! I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. I don't know. I don't know. No, no, it's okay. It's my sister. I need an ambulance right now. It's okay. Oh, yeah, she's. There's a lot of blood. You okay? Look at me. Look at me. Your scholarship. It's gone, Bill. Sports is entirely out of the picture. How old are you? 16. 16 years old. Your parents had high ups for you at 16. Do you realize what this has done? Danella Lopez tried to take her life last night. Yeah. The family, they found her in the middle of it. Crazy. Scott and Bill confessed to the assault on Preston. The police are letting their parents pick them up and take them for booking. Yeah, what about Tim? Did you go to Bernard Cooper's house the other day? Yeah, he gave me his card. I stopped by so I could speak and to him. And you berated Tim during a test in the middle of the classroom. All due respect, Harold? Two of our students almost died. Tell me about it. As if there wasn't enough chum for Cooper's lawyers. They're now saying that you've been coaxing Preston to lash out at Tim. That's fucking absurd. That man may be rich, but he cannot buy reality. The card from Preston's camera was found after his attack. It has dozens of photos of Tim. It's like he was obsessed. James, you go to the man's house and don't tell me? Because you're fucking afraid of him. You're right. Bernard and Julie Cooper's names are etched in brick outside. They pay their lawyers more in a week what I make in a semester, but you ignore those realities with this undercover righteousness of yours. I'm making a statement to the police. Do whatever you want, and then go home. As long as your name is being bandied about in this, we can't have you and Tim in the same classroom. And frankly, I doubt that you'll be joining us next fall. I'm sorry, James, but this is all too much. Oh, you're right. It is. Fuck it. Hey, sorry for just dropping by like this. Hey, Bernie. What can I do for you? I was hoping we could chat for a bit. This actually isn't a great time for me. It'll just take a minute, and I promise what I have to say is quite beneficial. OK. Suppose I could use a drink. You got it. Are you moving? <sighs> yeah. Um, she's going through a divorce right now. Be out by summer. I don't have any ice. 
Neat's okay. It's fine. Well, I'm sorry about the ball and chain, or congratulations, perhaps. It's been a long time coming. I see. Why don't I get to the point of why I've come today? I wanted to tell you face to face that if you're thinking about getting another teaching job anywhere in this state, you should think again. Bernie? Bernard. I work 80 hours a week for 35 years to make sure that my son will get the best education and the best school and the best part of town. Instead of teaching him to be a man, you liberal arts pansies, or rather he massage the clit of his inner child and philosophize about why his father is a bourgeois monster. You drag him in, you make accusations, you lie to the police. I didn't lie. What the hell do you know about anything? Oh, you fags are just too goddamn sensitive to see the world for what it is. No, you should take my advice and start looking for a new life and never talk to my kid again. And just so we're clear, princess, this is the nice version of things. Put these boxes on the fucking truck or you'll be nothing more than a scuff on my shoe. Thank you so much. Everyone at school is talking about all of it. Are you going to be here in the fall? Nope. No way. Mm -mm. Warren wants to decapitate me for ruffling the feathers of the aristocracy and ruining the school. But everyone knows that's bullshit. That's complete bullshit. Up in Bernard Cooper's world, and we're just paying rent. Sorry. It's, hey, no, it's fine. You had a hard day. Not as hard as others. Um, excuse me, really quick. I'll be right back, okay? Yeah, sure. Nice guy. He work with you? Yep. Aaron.
Just one minute, please. Every year, my company sends the top 10 earners down to Barbados. So you don't have to wear clothes, suntan lotion. Seriously. It's for my company. It's a real trip. I'm sure it is. What are you drinking? Excuse me, sir. I think this is my seat. Yeah, sure. Sit down. Join the convo. Give me your number. I think he wants to sit down. Well, give me your number. Huh. Come on, man. Get your hand off me, pussy. The lady? You are the fucking lady. Hey, get out of here. Now. <laughs> Thank you. You all right? Fine. Just, just forget about it, okay? You should just, just an asshole. Oh, fucking asshole. I wish I'd have picked the candle up off the table and smashed it on that guy's head. And then what? And then he would have said, ow. You think someone might have done that to him when he was younger? That's not... Let me see what's happening. No. In our world right now, it's ridiculous. It's like people like you and me, we're getting walked all over. Oh my God, you're educated, you're smart, fuck you. The meek inherit nothing but false promises. And maybe sometimes we should strike back, right? No, I don't believe that. We can move past our sorrows, it's not for them. <laughs> That's such a happy thought, but it's like this Spark in the dark, it's just, it means nothing, it just it dies. No, you're just drunk. I'm not drunk. You're so drunk. I'm not so drunk. Listen, think about it. A guy like that, right? They're just wrong. They're, they're wrong. But nature rewards them for it, okay? Like our bosses and politicians and the elites of the world, they're thriving on this sociopathy and their narcissism, their fucking cruelty. But there's just no amount of after-school warm fuzzies that are gonna change the beat of human history. I wish that things were different, they're just not. It's like sometimes you gotta pick a side. I see. Yeah. That, that's how you feel? Yeah. Okay. Uh... Uh, say a girl. A really happy, healthy girl. Gets raped her sophomore year of college. This guy she was seeing, a senior, he was perfect. He was the nice guy, clean cut, handsome. And, um... She passed out in his bed, and she, she woke up to her. She went to the administration, to the police. He said, she said, you know, and the case just died. And he graduated with honor. And she fucking hated him, and she did a lot of stupid things to herself. But she rebuilt. And she's a really happy person. As hard as this feels right now, James, it is not the end. You'll make it past this. Statistically, though, it's not the first time that guy fucking did that. And it wasn't the fucking last time that he did that. And now he's sitting somewhere and he's rich. And it's like, if you'd allowed yourself to hate him, then you could have stopped him from doing it to the next person. I'm just saying, it's... Go fuck yourself.
I feel sorry for him. I feel sorry for all my students. I can make him safe as a victim like the rest of us. There will be no more broken bones or locker notes. There will be no more hospitals. There will be no more. There will be no more. There will be no more! Hey, Miss Walsh. Hello, sweetheart. Another day, big man? That's what they tell me. Hi. Thank you for coming. Watch your legs. Thanks. Hi, Mr. Lewis. Hi. How are you holding up? Is everything okay? I heard you were in trouble. No. The whole school is in trouble. You don't have to worry about that, okay? How was it today? I made it the whole length. Barely. Well, that's really good. It's fine. No. That's really good. I should be going, guys. I just wanted to stop by. We'll see you soon, right? You bet.
Tim? What are you doing here? Uh... I don't think I've ever run into a student here before. You mean somebody? No, I'm, I'm... Wait, why are you here? Oh, I used to live right down that road. My buddy manages the shoe store inside. How about you? I uh, had some plans that fell through. Some neat stores in this mall. Need a pair of shoes? No, I'm, uh... I'm gonna head home. All right, I'll walk with you. What's wrong? I'm not sure I'm supposed to be with you. My dad said... I'm still your teacher, Tim. We can walk together, I promise. Yeah. Okay. You're parked over here, too? No, I'm a floor up. Where are you at? This is me right here. Drive safe, okay, Tim? Yeah, thanks. Hey, it looks like someone was having some fun out here. You should come have a look. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? Security's terrible here. You have a spare? I don't have two. Right. I guess that's why I'm an English teacher. You know where I can get a tow around here? Yeah, I know a couple places. This could really cost you, though. Just put it on my cart. You know what? I know a place. Auto parts, tires, 10 minutes from here. I'll take you. We can change the tire together. That way, you don't have to sit around waiting for a tow. Come on. No, I'll just wait. I'm fine. Tim, if you wait here for a tow, you're not going to be on the road until rush hour. I tell you what, I can give you some tips about the final exam. Okay. Thanks. I think I'm gonna take a shortcut to the nature preserve. Cool. I used to come here on field trips when I was a little bit younger than you. I always liked it. The other kids thought it was boring. Yeah, there's a service out here. Preston's blind in one eye. Probably hard to take pictures without any depth of perception. He may even have a limp, but um, his brain's okay, so he can remember all of it. Are we lost? No. This just goes around around circles back here. Remember when I was your age? Colin Dalton and his friends. Why are you stopping? What are you doing? When I was 12, I found my father with one of these stuck in his mouth. He was drunk and he beat me to a pulp for walking in on him. I only finished the job a couple of years later in a motel room somewhere. But say that my aim is pretty foolproof from this range, wouldn't you, Tim? Please. I don't want to hurt you, Tim, okay? You just do what I say. I'm gonna be driving home soon, I promise. Do you understand? Okay. Okay.
Don't do that. Open it. Open it door. No! 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 Open it! No! 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 Tim, Tim, Tim! <laughs> the nearest police station is 10 miles from here, and you wouldn't even know which way to go, okay? Come on, stand up. Come on. Just walk. It's okay. A little bit further. I need you to confess to him. Confess what? What do you want? You got Bill and Scott to destroy Preston's life. They tormented Daniela. You're the ringleader of all of it. I didn't make them do shit. You set an example. You drove that poor girl to try and kill herself. Live with that, huh? I need you to admit it. Admit! Come on, Timothy. I need you to say something. For the love of fucking God, say it! Fuck you. You'll never understand. I understand that you're a privileged, spoiled little shit who can destroy a kid's life one day, fucking blind him, and the next day you're online bragging to some girl about how you were partying on a yacht with your rich friends doing fucking blow? What do you know about what I do? Teachers know their students. No, 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 no. You're her. You did all of this, you... You're a fucking psycho. Shh. You're a fucking loser. You will always be a pathetic fucking loser psycho. Get him. Oh, no. oh, please. Please. Why did you do it to him? Why did you do it to all of us? You and your damn father. God damn you. God damn you. Please, you don't understand. You don't know what he does. He does it to the bottom of my feet so that no one can see. He calls it training. When I've done something wrong or just had a bad day, he uses his belt or sometimes the grip of his butter. When I got taken out of the game, my dad locked me in the furnace room for the night. And after you left our house, he made me run on the treadmill till I threw up all over myself, and then he made me clean it up. Tim. And Bill and Scott were the only ones who ever tried to protect me. He blinded Preston. They put him in the hospital. They made a mistake! Haven't you ever made a mistake? And now you want to fucking kill me? Tim. No, no, please! Oh, no, no, no! It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's We can pick up your car tomorrow. It's fine. Tim, just think about who you'd be if you hadn't been raised inside this house. I think about that every day.
Kevin. I need to report it. Domestic assault. 1218 Darien Road. Are you inside the house, sir? No. I'm outside. I, I came to tutor a student, and he's in danger. His father's attacking him. I'm afraid he might kill him. How old is this guy? He's 16. He's just a kid. What's your name, please? James Lewis. There's. There's guns in the house. Does the father have a gun now? Yes, he does. Please hurry. Okay. Police are on their way. James, I need you to stay calm and stay on the phone. How long will they take? I'll be there within five minutes. Where are you, James? Can you see what's going on? Oh, God. Who is this girl? I met her online. You're a fucking idiot. You know that? You're an idiot. Yeah. OK, I'm an idiot. Just calm down. Why didn't you call us? My phone is dead. You charge it in the fucking car. The car battery died. Why are you lying? Enough, OK? I've had it with this. Do you hear me? I've had it. You're OK that our son thinks we're fucking morons. We're just an ATM to you. Is that it? The fucking car battery died. Son of a bitch. Oh. 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 Blow your fucking head off, Bernie. What the fuck are you doing in my house? Julie. Tim, why don't you go outside? Go! Mom. Mom! What do you think you're doing? Why do you do this, Bernie? Why do you do this to your family? Hmm? Come on, tell me, you f <laughs> you're a fucking coward. I'm protecting them. You may not like this, but fear is how you gain respect. No. No? What's the gun for, then? I'm stopping you. Yeah, then what? You gonna shoot me? Do you even know? Okay, I'm done. Shoot the scary man. <laughs> Set the example for the student. Be a hero. You certainly aren't. Stop! Stop! Come into my house and threaten my family? You're going to the morgue. Tim, what are you doing? Timothy! Timothy! You have to stop. It's over. Put it down, Tim. I'm going to tell him, Dad. You're going to tell who what? The police. Either I tell them everything, or you kill me. No, Tim. I can't fucking take this anymore. Tim. Don't talk to him. Tim. No, Mr. Lewis, you were right. I have to do something. I have to. It's OK, Tim. It's OK, sweetheart. Put it down. Tim, put it down. Put it down. It has to stop.
Tell him whatever you want. Let's put it down. I'll do what you want. starting to recognize myself again as I survive in this place. I've written everyone, bartering words for seconds off my time here. Life now is a cycle of routine and regret for how I treated those who loved me, those who hated me, and those like you whom I punished for trying to reach me. I'm so sorry. I wish I knew you better. I wish I knew you now. So, uh, we're at one of these oxygen bars. Like an oxygen bar? Like, uh, basically, you put this, like, tubing up your nose like you have emphysema, and then you just breathe this, like, flavored air. Like incense? No, 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 it's like pure oxygen. It's supposed to be relaxing. Sounds like it. I'm gonna see him again tonight. He's, uh, I'm gonna cook dinner for him over at his house. How's everybody? Tim accepted a partial scholarship to state. Um, not the best, not the worst, but I'm, I'm sure that the headlines helped. Preston is settling in, but still going strong with Daniela. Uh, Arabella. Yeah. Got something to give you. It's like three minutes for the damn guards to move. Is there anything I can do for you? You keep showing up. It's enough. Everyone has their own opinion, their own perspective. But whose perspective is valid? Anyone's? No one's? Yes. The villains? Okay. A liar? Liar. So, say, dishonest. Count, back to your cell. Count, let's go. So, uh, they, they call this play a comedy? <laughs> well, 
Any play that didn't end in the bloodbath was considered a comedy in Shakespeare's time. Uh, I guess that's one way of looking at it. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Good work, Dwayne. Thank you. Inmate, let's move. I'm gonna just tidy up real quick. <laughs>